How's it going, everybody? In this video, we're going to pretty much wrap up our MPLS Layer 3 VPN section, at least the initial portion of it, with static routing, because it's pretty much the easiest setup to do and takes the least amount of time to, to set up. So we're going to do XRV9 to R14 and CSR6 to R15 like we've been doing, and we're going to go ahead and just configure routes to point towards uh, this, on the PE route, routers to point to the CE devices and so on and just to put a configure a default route on the CE device to point to the PE router and go from there. So let's start on the configuration here. We're going to go on R15 and I'm going to show run pipe include router and I'm going to turn off all routing completely. So I'll type in no router EIGRP MPLS and then I'm going to go over to, I'm going to type in IP route 0 to 0 to 0, 0 to 0 to 0, and then 101.6.15.6, and then on R14, show run pipe include router. I'm going to turn off some of these real quick. And the reason why I'm going to do that is simply for the fact that I want to make sure that I'm not missing anything in terms of operations and stuff like that. Whoops. Go ahead and finish up this real quick. There we go. So now I'm going to just type an IP route all zeros to 101.9.14.9. And that's, or sorry, 14, not 15. There we go. So do show do show IP route. Okay, why is that not coming through? All right, there we go. So now we have that in play, and if we check our fifteen. Do show IP route. Beautiful. So now all I have to do is go on. CSR6, for example, and I had to go and type in IP route VRF C1, and I had to type in 10.1.15.0 slash 24 to 101.6.15.15 and hit the enter key. Now, what I have to go do now is do show BGP VPN before unicast all is I'm not I'm still propagating some routes here let me go over to uh, do show run pipe include router let me turn some of these guys off real quick just so we're not wasting our time here with a bunch of other stuff. I had to be careful not to delete the wrong stuff, right? So we have that do show run pipe include router. We should only have OSPF and BGP. Do show BGP VPN before unicast all. That's much better. Now on CSR, on uh, XRV9, show run pipe include router. Let's go ahead and turn this guy off. Well, no. And we'll get rid of EIGRP MPLS and no router rip. We can't get rid of OSPF 100 or BGP. Let me go ahead and commit those real quick. And. Wait till that's done. Convert, uh, doing its thing. Do show run pipe and in, pipe include router. So now, if we go back to CSR six and we hit the up arrow for this, we're not. We're only going to have the local prefix, right? That we've learned from the remote side. We don't have a static route in the routing table. We don't have anything going on like that. So I want to go to, because all we have 
do show IP route, we've got a bunch of OSPF routes internally, but if I do C DRFC1, I have a static route that points me towards the loopback of 15. So if I do ping DRFC1 to 10.1.15.15, .15, the ping does work. So that means that from the PE down to the CE, I can ping the loopback and the loopback can respond. Now, what I need to do is I basically need to redistribute the static route into, um, into BGP. So BGP can propagate that and it can be a vice versa re redistribution on the XR. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go to XRV9, do show route VRFC1. I have the BGP route from CSR1. That does not apply here. If I do show BGP, VPNV4, unicast, VRFC1, I am learning what I've got on CSR6. So I need to type in router static address uh, VRFC1 address family IPv4 unicast. And I need to specify to 10.1.14.0 slash 24 to 101.9.14.14. Let me go ahead and I'm going to commit that config. Give that a second to do its thing. And do show route VRFC1. Do ping 10.1.14.14 or do ping VRFC1 10.1.14.14. And I can ping back and forth. So now I have P, uh, P to C pings working and all that stuff, all that good stuff that's working. So router BGP 100 VRFC1 redistribute or, uh, address family IPv4 unicast redistribute static. And I could throw in other values in there if I wanted to, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to commit this config here. Do show BGP VPNV4 unicast VRFC1. Now you're going to see a static route that's being propagated. I go to CSR6 and hit the up arrow a couple times. Now you'll see the prefix show up there. Now router BGP100 address family IPv4 VRFC1 redistribute uh, static. Do show BGP VPNV4 unicast all. Now I've got 15 being propagated. I go to XRV9. I have 15 being sent across the wire. Now if I go to 15 and I do a trace route to 10.1.14.14 sourcing from loopback zero numerically, I'm able to reach across the wire all day long. So that is how you do static routing with MPLS Layer 3 VPN. Pretty straightforward stuff. I mean, I don't, there's not much more packet walking I can do in terms of all that type of stuff. So, pretty short video. Um, that wraps up this section. Thanks so much for stopping by, guys. And until next time, guys, take it easy.